Hi there, Sean Wilmot. Today we're looking at a mostly familiar face in the face of the Ford Transit Custom. But this one's a little bit different. It's more like a brother-in-law than a direct descendant because this one's an electric. That makes it a PHEV, which is kind of an interesting little trick vehicle. So let's take a look around. The Transit Custom PHEV, or PHEV as some people like to say, is actually the ideal partner for those who have to work and spend most of their time driving around all day every day in the city environments or in outlying suburbs. That's really where a PHEV comes into its own in terms of fuel efficiency and economy. Because you're running primarily on the electric motor only, it comes down to what we call the drive selector mechanism. And this basically allows the driver to nominate how best he's going to use the fuel efficiency and the combination of the battery power, the electric motor, and of course the petrol engine. PHEVs, or PEVs, can be charged during the day if required, but generally speaking, the best way to do it is to charge them up at night when you finish the day's work, and then you've got a full bank of charge to carry you through the working day. Now, the range, typically on a PHEV, we're talking about 50 to 60 Ks on electric only, and then it increases up to 500 Ks, a tenfold increase, when you're using the battery electric system. So Ford has very cleverly given Ford Transit custom PHEV owners the ability to control when they're actually using their battery power most efficiently. They've done this using the drive selector button, which is down here on the dash, and what that does is it basically allows the driver to change how the battery is being charged and how the system is being managed. For example, you can set it to run on autopilot, which is when it does the, the computer does all the work for you and switches between battery and petrol. You can tell it to sit in EV mode now, which basically means it's just going to run on the EV system. Or you can set it up so that it charges the EV system up later, um, which means you've got some additional electric power when you need it. Or you can tell it to just sit there and charge up to the maximum extent using regenerative braking captured energy, putting back into the battery pack itself. Fully combined, the petrol and electric engine between them put out 355 newton meters of torque and 92 kilowatts of power. That's keeping it real simple for you. Now, in terms of fuel consumption, when you combine those two again, you end up with a average fuel figure of around about 2.7 litres per 100. The petrol engine on its own will be returning something like 7.3, but you have to weight the two together to get an accurate figure. You're also doing very good things for the environment because you're actually only putting out 60 grams of CO2 per kilometre. The Transit Custom short wheelbase and low level means it's actually very, very easy to go in and out of close quarter buildings like parking structures or warehouses where access may not be quite so easy with a full size van. As to handling, the Transit Custom PHEV, like the Transit Custom Regular, has a rather small steering wheel. That's a little bit of a dead giveaway because it tells you a little bit about what to expect from the handling. It's going to be very, very car like, and this van certainly is that. Now, it's very nimble around close quarter car parks and it's very, very nice to drive around town where roads are getting narrower and narrower as time goes on. The other thing to bear in mind is that because this is the PHEV model with the electric engine, you've got a little bit faster takeoff response than you would normally be used to. The other thing to remember, of course, is that the PHEV is a van and as such, it will handle a lot better when it's fully laden or has at least some weight in the back. Of course, the most critical consideration for any van, and that's PHEVs included, is how much stuff can it carry in the back? Well, in the case of the Ford Transit, both the regular and the PHEV models, we are looking at six cubic meters of space. Now, that six cubic meters of space, translated into real world terms, we're looking at a couple of Euro pallets going floor to aft and about a half a dozen in from floor to ceiling. And speaking of floors, yes, this tough deck is standard equipment, and that's going to do a lot to protect your investment when it comes to paintwork. Right down here at the solid bulkhead, which is standard equipment by the way, we had this neat little flap here, which just opens up, magnetically clips, 
and goes all the way through to the front seat. And one last thing to mention while we're at the back of the vehicle, down here in the bumper, we have our rear sensors, and those are matched with the front sensors up the front, obviously, and that's very useful when you're negotiating those tricky wall situations or when there are bollards right behind you that you can't see. Of course, you do have the reversing camera, which goes a long way to avoid that. And from the back, naturally, that segues us into the front cabin, which is where you'll find a traditional Ford Transit look. Okay, basically we've got three seats going across here, which is very convenient, but those seats are heated. The other thing we've got that's quite familiar now is the eight inch touchscreen up here. This is the Sync 3 infotainment suite, which integrates your Bluetooth, your Apple CarPlay, and your Android Auto system. And it also gives you your access to satellite navigation and voice command activation as well. You also get Ford Pass Connect, which is the integrated modem system that allows the car to talk to various around the world internet things and the only other thing that's really critical in here is the dashboard which is something a little bit unusual basically it's a slight revision because you have two fuel um, displays here one for your petrol one for your power for the battery you don't have a rev counter instead you have a battery charge indicator Ford needs to be congratulated as they are the market leaders when it comes to PHEV applications in the commercial vehicle world. And with that being said, you know what you have to do next, don't you? Pop into your nearest Ford dealership and ask about the return on investment opportunities provided by the Ford Transit Custom PHEV.